Okay, quick video here. Ender 3 Pro. Brand new, that's what I'm working on. With the 422 board. And as promised, told you I was working on some firmware. And we're, we're pretty much done. Just gotta do some testing here. But everything's running correctly. Let's go ahead and just do a good old auto home. And those of you guys, some people didn't believe me that I had 422 boards that were very loud because they're not Trinamic drivers. But this is one of them that has that other board in it that's got the HR4988. So you can hear how loud it is. Here, I'm going to tell it to home. So you, you should have been able to hear that, but it's as loud as regular 4988 boards. But important thing is, got the firmware running on here, running Marlin 2.0. And we're, we're very close, you see, to that's today's date. So when the build was done. So just got to finish up some documentation and get some packages made for you guys. And then we will have support for this. Now, these machines do have the bootloader. So if you have a 422 board, you have a bootloader. You do not need to flash it like the old 115s or 114s or 113s, 112s, all those old ones, the 8-bits. These actually have a bootloader. So you put your file on the SD card, you pop it in here, turn the printer on, it flashes it. And there will be a video on doing that. So just wanted to let you guys know. Didn't forget about you. Just been trying to make sure everything's working correctly. Testing, 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 because I don't want to send out something that's half-assed. There's no other way to put it. So, hope you guys are looking forward to this. And I'll just shut this off and turn it back on. Just to show you one more time. There we go. And uh, it's got the old 422 in there. Well, not old, but you guys know what I mean. That's the board that is inside. So... Stay tuned, this will be coming out this week.